Well, hello. Hey, I'm just curious if anybody else has ever happened. Has anybody interrupt you when you're doing a video? Heh, whatever. So, I'm going to be explaining my 7 segment display, its basic functions, how it works. So right here is a device. It converts binary into pulses, so only when the binary is set to zero will this be off. All the other ones will be on. Only if it's set to one, this will be off, for instance. Only if it's set to two, this will be off. And only if it's set to three, this will be off. It's a very simple device consisting of repeaters driving their power in the blocks with redstone torches next to them. And if a torch is powering another torch, it means that if that block is powered, the redstone torch will simply transmit that power back. If it's a wire, it'll be like the inverted version, which allow you, allows you so for if it's on, this is off. Works a lot like the door combination locks. You remember those, right? Alright, so, to build one, all one would have to do is to daisy chain some repeaters and blocks on both sides. This one, for simplicity's sake, will once again only be using two bits, but no matter how many bits it's using, the build will still be the same, it'll just be larger. The smaller it is, usually the easier it is to build. But, um... So here's the first row. Alright, time to work on the second row. Um... By the way, it's a good idea to um, have all the repeaters set to the lowest and the same delay. If you don't, you'll get um, you'll have errors in the system, and it will sometimes output things that you might not want to be output. I don't know, just a thought. That's what I did with my seven segment display. The faster, the better. All right. Now over here is our input. Simply place some blocks, put some to a torch on them to show if they're powered. And put a lever in front. This is the way I tend to power these devices. I'll shut them both off. Alright. Over here we're just simply going to be putting torches on the side. These will act as inverters which power the upward blocks, which um, will sometimes go on the wire or sometimes into an inverter, depending on what digit it is. Now we place our blocks on top. Man, I was so bummed out. I wanted 1.8 to come out today, but, eh. You know, those updates are hard, and... I give him credit for making updates like that, so if it's a day late, you know what, I'm not going to cause trouble about it. It's nice that, I mean, he's made his money, it's nice that he's even up updating it, even though he hasn't even finished the game. He's made a decent amount of money off of it. Alright. So there we go. Now one would ask, how would you reprogram this? Uh, now we have to put just some wires to pull the data down so it's not on the upper level. One would ask, how do we program the device? As of, as of now, it's just an empty system. I'll set that back to one. Well, you have to put at least torches and wire on those blocks right there. So for zero, I'm just going to place two torches. 
because that just mirrors the same thing there. For one, I'm going to place some wire. Okay, over here. For the next digit. Like that. And finally for three, I place both of those there. This is the first binary digits and this is the second. You'll notice when it's zero, that one is only unpowered. When it's one, this one's only unpowered. When it's two, this one's only un unpowered. And when it's three, that one's only unpowered. Now, back here we also have another th device which takes in these inputs and based on if there's a block here or redstone here, if there's redstone here, when that's powered correct, when that's unpowered, it will um, send power out through into the seven, that specific area on the seven segment display. The black ones means it won't turn the display on. The redstone wire ones means it will turn on the display. Repeaters will drive current right through a block, but um, yeah. So, the way that works is very, very simple. For simplicity's sake, I'll once again only use this device and I'll make it uh, a 2-bit device. So, as you'll notice there, I'll just have power going straight into redstone torches. So this will only activate certain parts. As you can see over here, the power goes to this side. So I am going to make this a 2-bit device and we're, I'm just going to have random combination. This is an easy way to, and simple way to make seven segment displays actually work. It's slower than other methods though simply because there's so many repeaters, but it's very compact compared to other methods. This can be used for anything, it doesn't have to be a seven segment display. Um, for the first row, you don't even have to use a repeater and block thing. You can just have it powered or not powered. Alright. So I said that was going to be doing two blocks here. But, just to better make, allow people to understand the concept, I'll make it three block system. So notice when that one's unpowered over there, it allows these torches to power the upward blocks. Man, that's really lagging. Alright. There, that made it faster. Ah. Such a bummer that the fog key's gonna be removed. So when you're recording things, unless you have a super mega quad core million processor computer, it's still a little slow. And you get annoying effects like that. Really? A thunderstorm? Give me a second. Sorry about that. Okay. Now we'll simply place our torches here again. One there. One there. One there. Finally, one there. Okay. So, notice how this is a three digit device. So, what I figured we'd do here is um, if zero is powered, how about power them all? If one is powered, just power eh, the first one. Two is powered, power the second one and the first one. If three is powered, power all of them again. Okay, so this is a perfect example of how the system works. 
So you just place our blocks on top of it. I'm going to change here, video settings. Here, this is the fastest it's going to get. Don't worry if it's not for me. Um, really stink if it was because I'd have to throw away another video and I've already been working for so long on this one. Don't you hate it when that happens? I mean, answering the phone in, in the middle of the video is just in the video is just a bad idea so you have to discard the video because some idiots will just keep calling if you don't um, pick up the phone. In fact I've had the discard videos before over that. It's really annoying. It's like, I tell them, you just ruined the video. Well, anyway, I'm putting blocks over this. It actually happened for this one. Um, I had a previous attempt. I wasn't this far along. Man, this is going so incredibly slow. It's never gone this slow before. Okay. So now, for zero, I said all of them would be powered. So, I'm going to place all of them there and all of them will be powered on zero. Simple, isn't it? Okay, here, I'm placing redstone on top. Uh, maybe it's simple for me. It might not be simple for those that, who don't have mines with, for redstone. Did you know I designed this whole system from scratch? Any, anyway, here we have our one right there that will be powered. Here, this won't be powered. Now, a repeater can power a block, but the redstone torch below it can't po power that. Therefore, you can exploit that. And it'll, the charges will run up through to the rest of the repeaters. Okay, here we're going to power these. So, place these, and over here, I'll place a block, which means it won't be powered by that specific one. Okay. Finally, the last one, they were all going to be powered. So we'll simply place our repeaters and let them all be powered. And we can run the charges down through here. So this can be useful for a variety of tasks. One is, um, control panels that don't use as much space as other systems. Um, seven segment displays, storage systems. So we're controlling three bits over there with only two input bits. So right now they're all powered because we're on zero. Now we'll input a one into the system. Now you no notice that only that one's being powered, these ones aren't, because the blocks are there. And now we have one, only the first one going through. We'll input a 2 in binary, which means show off 1, and do the add 2 option. And as you can see, the first two are on. Finally, when we put out three, which is just turning on both of these, you'll notice that all three of them are on just like they were on zero. Well, I hope that helped explain this. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll just revert back to what I normally use. Man, I was just so slow. I've never had that before. So, um, some people are asking about my video recording software. It's simply FFmpeg on Linux. I wrote a script. 
I simply put, press Q and then it sits there for an eternity rendering out. Um, just figured I'd tell them be pe because people asked and figured I'd tell them because most systems for um, recording videos, they stink. They don't, um, some, sometimes they don't record audio. Unfortunately here, I can't record the audio coming from Minecraft. And um, some of them won't let you do voiceover, which is essential.